Hey guys, today uh, we're not playing a game. Today I will be showing you how to uh, record your game commentary audios. Um, so, uh, if you're making game commentary stuff on the PC, uh, most of the programs you use, like Fraps or Bandicam, allow you to record game audio, uh, game video, obviously, and you can also record your commentary, your voice audio, along with it. The issue with that is that it puts it on one uh it puts it on one track so you can't raise your voice levels or lower them or lower game audio it's all just stuck at that one position so uh in order to fix that and kind of have more control over such issues uh you can use audacity which is a completely free program uh you can download it online and you can use uh, certain effects and stuff that they have built in, uh, again for free, uh, to make your audio sound a lot better. Um, one thing as well, uh, if, if you're like me, you're probably using not the best microphone currently because you're not out there spending tons of money on really expensive microphones that sound great naturally. So, I personally am using a uh, Turtle Beach X11s, I think, headset. Uh, and there's a lot of white noise, and that is why I use Audacity. Audacity will allow you to completely, basically, completely, get rid of uh, white noise, or background, staticky sort of noises. So, let's see. This is what Audacity will look like when you open it, okay? Uh, generally, I personally, I start recording my audio before I start recording the video, just so I have it going. I have a sort of, like, cue of when I like directly when I started recording video so that I can uh, link up my video and my audio my personal audio so that I'm all in line and it makes sense obviously so uh, when you record this is your record button obviously you'll press it and I'll just record something real quick for this video uh, recording stuffs and such and yay hello yeah great yeah Okay, so we've got that. Um, the next part, I'll play it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, recording stuffs and such, and yay, hello, yeah, great, yeah. So obviously you can tell there is a lot of background noise there. Um, and you can see uh, the line isn't like it's perfectly smooth, you can see all these jagged bits, which is just the static. Uh, because my mic sucks. So, uh, to use noise effect removal, uh, first thing, you want to highlight a spot where you aren't speaking. You need a, uh, a, a basically like a sample of the white noise so that Audacity can go in and get rid of that. So, you highlight a section where it's just the noise, you go to effect, you go to noise removal, and then you get noise profile which is basically that's when audacity is figuring out what the noise sounds like so after that if you click here you'll cl select the entire track uh... from there you click effect you go back to noise removal and you can either preview so you can hear what it would sound like um, and if that's good for you then you press ok or you can mess around with these levers and bibs and bobs uh... i personally don't know what any of this means so i don't do much of that but, I mean, if you understand that and you think you can figure it out, go for it. But generally, Audacity is really good at doing it for you. So, uh, we'll just press OK, and Audacity will clean it up. You can see here, it's perfectly straight, basically. So, uh, let's go ahead and play it, and we'll listen for, uh, we'll hear the difference. Uh, recording stuffs and such, and yay, hello, yeah, great, yeah. So... Uh, as you can tell, the noise is practically gone, which is actually very impressive for such a free stuff things. It's free. Go get it, basically. Um, uh, once you have that, uh, you click File, you can export that audio to wherever. I just use my desktop. Save it. You can do that if you feel like it doesn't matter. And then, uh, and then you can drag that straight into your editing software. I use Sony Vegas, which is quite good. Um, you can drag that straight into your editing, and uh, you can raise levels, you can lower, 
you'll have separate tracks basically for your audios and that definitely improves quality a lot uh... you can also mess with your uh... your levels your audio volume for your own voice in audacity if you want to but generally the editing softwares have that so you don't need to too much um... that's about it so once you've got it you put it in editing you can mess with it and that will really help the quality of your commentaries and your voice and all uh, get just crazy better comparatively um, uh, anyways thanks for watching guys if you have any questions you can leave it as a comment below I'd appreciate if you liked the video if you did like it and uh, I will answer any questions you have and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you later